I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Upfront and Personal. It's my intention to deliver information that will help us maintain a quality lifestyle in all aspects of our lives. So let's get started. Welcome back to another edition of the Sabrina Samuels Show with me, Sabrina Samuels. On this edition, we'll talk to leadership coach Ron Walensky. Ron will explain some important facts to us about how a leadership coach can help you on your job or in your organization. You want to stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Beckman Method. I'm Sabrina Samuels, and enhancing the lives of others has been my passion for over 35 years. Through interactive workshops and seminars, inspirational and motivational speaking, I help others to discover the hidden treasures, gifts, and talents within themselves. Take a look at our website and review our menu selection. Thank you. Welcome back. Once again, I have with me leadership coach Ron Walensky. Sir, welcome to my show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Ron. Look, we're all excited about what is a leadership coach. Tell us what that's all about. Well, a leadership coach is really somebody who can give you candid feedback mm -hmm. about your strengths okay. and about your blind spots. Mm -hmm. So it's an outside, external, objective person that will work with you interview people to help you identify your strengths as well as some blind spots that you go, hmm, I didn't know about that. Well, tell me, would you help a person on the job, a leader, a, a CEO, a regular person on the job, who do you work with typically? Typically, I work with people who are high potential leaders in a company. Okay. And the company will say, would you work with these folks? They're the future senior leaders. They need feedback so they okay. can be, they're peak performers, but they can be even better. I also work with senior executives. I've also coached uh, directors and managers, so okay. could be anybody. So now when you say coach, give us an example of what you do. Let's say I need you to come in and work with me and my company. How would you help me? Okay, so what I would do, Sabrina, you're going to be my example here. Okay, good. Um, I would come in and you and I would meet with your boss. Okay. And we'd say this is how the process works. and get his buy-in and we would uh, put together a game plan. Mm -hmm. You put out a note to your people that work with you and you'd say, I've retained Ron Walensky, he's an external executive coach. Okay. Ron is going to be interviewing you and when he interviews you, he'll be asking you three questions. What do you see as my greatest strengths to leverage? What do you see mm -hmm. as some non-strengths? And if you could give me one piece of advice and one only as a leader, what would that be? Okay. Then Ron's going to aggregate that info feedback, common themes, and work with me. So when he calls you, please be candid. Please give him feedback on Sabrina as a leader. And when all this is done, I'll sit with Ron and we'll put together a game plan on how to leverage my strengths and work on some of those blind spots. Wow. So now you're helping me. Why would a person want to hire you instead of someone probably already on the job? What makes you different? Excellent question. Okay. Um, Using somebody inside the company has disadvantages, okay. and mo oftentimes the person being coached says, well, wait a minute, I would really prefer somebody outside the company. There's some confidential things that I'd like to talk about. You know, maybe I have difficulty with some of the senior leaders or my boss. Ah. Uh, and also, Ron, if you were inside my company, you're caught up in the corporate dynamics and the corporate politics. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and typically I'm hired by chief human resource officers to work with folks, senior execs, and uh, they say, we know the value of an external coach. Yes. So. Now, this is really good to know. Now, look, Ron, I, let's say I'm a difficult person to work with, and we have so many people that we have to work with from time to time who can be very di difficult, very cantankerous. How no. do you, oh yeah, you know, you know <laughs> and that's why they hire people like you, leadership coaches yes. who can come in and diffuse that. Yes. How are you going to do that? When you give that information, when you disseminate that information to whoever you're going to give it to, how do you help that person become a better person, a better leader? Well, I sit, first of all, I want to say that 90% of the work that I do okay. is with peak performers, strong people 
who want to get to the next level. Excellent. 10%, a very small amount, is, is what you say, where you've got the person who's, the company says, boy, this person's a keeper. They're the brightest people in the building. i got to keep, but they have some leadership and behavioral issues. Yes. So what I do is I do the interviews. Um, people are very candid, and, you know, they'll say, you know, here's some, I can even give you an example of what I've learned on some people. But they'll, Please. Well. Um, <laughs> we want to know that. Yes. So it could be that, uh, a true story, I was working with a senior exec in a technology company. Yes. Exactly what you're talking about. Had idiosyncrasies, had issues. They said, this person's a keeper. He's fantastic, but he needs some help. So I, long story short, interviewed the boss. I interviewed the peers. I interviewed the direct reports. Okay. And I asked them those big three questions. I said, now I only report common themes. I never say who says what. And uh, in this particular example with the uh, technology company, uh -huh. it, it came back. The team said, we love him, he's a great guy, but he doesn't realize he interrupts people. He'll step on you halfway through your conversation. He will call us to a meeting and say, I need to solve this problem, I need your expertise. And he'll jump in and he'll solve the problem. <laughs> well, we know a lot of people like that. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, lastly, he, he, said he commits things to senior executives without collaborating with his team. All this came out, he took it great, and he said, this is fantastic, he jumped on it, and six months later, he was promoted, promoted to uh, an executive vice president. Wow, yeah. now, did you give him some skills to work with? Did he have, you know, because you have, even though you're aware, okay, this is my problem, do you give him a skill set? Um, actually, I do role plays, Okay. so we'll do a role play. Um, I would catch him doing that with me, he didn't, I said, oh, you just did it, you just did what your team is saying. I ask, sometimes engage an internal team member, and I say, get one of your team members to watch for these. Because yes. he's very open, he's very happy to be developed. So yes. when you interrupt, when you jump in and you try to solve the problem, um, if you make a commitment, ask some of your more candid team members yes. you know, to do that. And I'll do that. I work, I'll be working with you for the next several months. Wow, so, so it sounds to me like you're doing a little bit of reprogramming the subconscious mind so that they can really get it. It's, it's about awareness, and the funny yes. part about this is the interrupting and the solving problems. When I sat with him, he went, oh my God, my wife has been telling me that for the last year and a half. Oh, <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so that was, uh, anyway, that turned out very well. Okay, now suppose a person, you're here in Orlando, Florida, but suppose a person would like to hire your, your expertise any place in the country or all over the world. Do you have remote? How do you handle that? Another good question. Yes, oh, you're know. on it. Um, I'd say about 30% of my, my work is remote. I'm in Orlando. I've done work in Denver, California. There's a, there's a time up front mm -hmm. where I spend one-on-one. -on -one. I meet with the key players and do interviews. But you can do, a lot of this can be done remotely. Okay. And actually, to my surprise, the executives I talk to say, you know, you really don't need to fly in. Let's just do Skype or let's just do a conference call. In fact, I'll be in my house, you'll be in your house. So I love that. Yeah. I yeah. love that. You know, and it's so good, Ron, that we're able to do that now. Now, let's say a, a person is trying to get a promotion on the job, and they're hearing this conversation with us tonight, today. Yes. Uh, can they hire you to do a remote as well? Uh, yes, and what typically happens mm -hmm. is if it were... An individual would say, you know, I really like this. Let me go to my boss mm -hmm. and say, hey, I'm a top performer, but I have aspirations to do better. I'd like to get an outside coach. Okay. Boss, will you help me? Can we go meet with the chief human resource officer and see if we could hire an external coach to get feedback on my, I don't know what my blind spots are, and I'm not sure about my gifts, and I want to I wanna grow as a leader. So, okay. boss, help me out. Let me see, I wrote so many uh, wonderful questions down, so I'm glad you thought my questions were good. <laughs> that means that I'm on top of it. What, what do you think? You are, for sure. <laughs> well, you you're kind, Ron. You know what, what can you say in closing that will help a person to understand that in order to advance, sometimes we do need help. We really do, and I could not be where I am, you could not be where you are without understanding that. I Two, two words come to my mind, flashing neon signs. One is you need to be brave, you, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to get feedback. People sometimes don't like it. And you've got to be open and you've got to be brave. And you've got to have a de desire to be self-aware. You've got to have a desire that says, look, I'm a top performer. I'm number one rated. 
Maybe I'm in the succession plan for more senior jobs. Maybe I'm a current executive, mm -hmm. but I, I can always do better. There's a quick quote. Um, Eric Schmidt, when he was CEO of Google, yes. a board member came to him, and he, you know, he was an A-plus leader, and said, you know, you might benefit by having an executive coach. And he said, coach? I don't need a coach. I'm, yeah. I'm an A-plus leader. He said, no, try it. And then the tape comes on, and you see Eric Schmidt later on going, everybody needs a coach. This was fantastic. <laughs> You know, this is awesome. Uh, how can a person contact you? Will we be able to flash some information about it through the show? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But basically, uh, the direct way directly to me is Ron Walensky at msn.com. Okay. R-O-N-W-I-L-E-N-S-K-Y. And we'll flash that at the end of the show. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'd welcome a, a contact. And, and again, if it's not, it's not me, you know, I've got some other partners who can coach also. Also, thank you for being a guest today. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. job. Excellent. The pleasure's mine. More to come in a moment. Stay with us. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Sabrina Samuels Show with success and leadership coach, Ron Walensky. And if you have a need for his service, please give him a call. I'd also like to invite you to be a guest on our show if you'd like to promote your business, your product, your brand. We'd love to have you on the Sabrina Samuel Show. And also, if you have something special you'd like to share with our viewing audience, give us a call. We'll put that phone number up at the end of the program. Remember, you're a winner. Think positive thoughts. Know that you will win. You will succeed with hard work, perseverance, and positive thinking at all times. Understand that we can do our part to make things happen for good. And we can also do our part to take care of business. So let's do that. And we'll see each other at the top. Blessings always. Bye now.